Batteries are the most important type of energy storage devices, and lithium-ion batteries are the dominating battery technology in the current market. However, limited lithium resources and the safety issues rising from flammability of lithium-ion batteries have led to an extensive research and development of other rechargeable battery systems. Recently, our group in Auburn University has successfully developed a rechargeable aluminum battery with a non-flammable and room temperature ionic liquid electrolyte. Aluminum is the most abundant metal in Earth's crust, can be handled in the open air, and has the highest theoretical volumetric capacity of 8040 mAh per cubic centimeter. The developed aluminum battery utilizes aluminum metal as the anode and two-dimensional maxines as the cathode. Maxines are a family of two-dimensional transition metal carbides and carbon nitrides that are produced by selective etching of max phases, a large group of layered ternary carbides, nitrides, and carbon nitrides. Maxines were first discovered in 2011 in Drexel University. The Maxine-based aluminum battery operates through reversible intercalation and deintercalation of aluminum ions between the layers of Maxines as the cathode, and electrochemical deposition and dissolution of aluminum at the anode. The cathode slurry is made with mixing the Maxine powder, acetylene black conductive additive, and the binder. It is then casted on a current collector and dried in vacuum oven over the night. The prepared cathode is directly used in aluminum battery cells, which are made inside the glove box with oxygen and moisture levels below 0.1 ppm. The aluminum batteries are tested on a charge discharge battery cycler to evaluate their performance. Although our Maxine-based aluminum batteries are at the earliest stage of development, they can provide capacities comparable to current lithium-ion batteries. This is where we engineer materials, this is how we make energy storage safer, and this is for a sustainable future environment. This is Auburn.